Okay, so let's have this problem, problem number 1.13. No? So determine the mass of the heaviest uniform cylinder that can be supported in the position shown without exceeding the stress of 50 megapascal in cable AC. Neglect friction in the weight of the bar AB. The cross-section area of BC is 100 millimeter square. Okay, so ang scenario, syempre, Okay, gawa natin ng muna for the meantime. Okay, gawa natin ng center. Okay, so ayan yung center niya. Okay. So meron kang weight dyan. Okay, so you have there the weight of the bar. So meron kang force acting on that. So tawagin natin yung weight. No? Kaya lang hinahanap. Ano ba hinahanap? Determine the mass. Okay, so para maging weight, so, yung mass niya, multiply natin by acceleration due to gravity, G. Okay? And also, since itong cylinder is tumama dito sa ating wall, meron tayong tinatawag na normal force doon, no? So, we will be having here the normal force, N. Okay? So, we will be having here, tawagin natin itong, uh, sige, N1. Okay? So, also, at this point, so, 4 meters from point A, tsaka dun, meron din daw dong, okay, at this alignment, ito kasi naka-align dun eh. Okay, tumatama rin dun yung isa pang force or normal force, ano? Okay, and that is actually tawagin natin tong N2. Okay, ang pangit ng drawing. Yan. So, we will be having here, oops, bakit ba hindi may diretso? Okay, anyway, ayan, N2. Okay? So, gamit yung cylinder na yun, okay, yung free body diagram na to, they are concurrent. So, pwede akong mag-summation forces vertical and pwede akong mag-summation forces horizontal. Okay? Ang hindi lang natin alam kung ano yung inclination nito. Okay? So, kailangan natin malaman yung ating inclination doon. Okay? So, malalaman natin yon kung alam natin yung inclination ng bar AB, okay? Kasi perpendicular lang naman yun eh, okay? Let's try to know it. Lagyan natin dito, no? lalagyan ko na lang siya ng inclination dito. Okay? Pwedeng natin gamitin si triangle AB and C. Okay? If this is 6 meters, ito yung total nito is around 10 meters. So yung total nito, ay wala pala akong ruler. So, ayan. Pasensya na. Medyo pangit ang drawing. Oop. Ayun. So, that is around 10 meters. And then, this one. Okay. Yung distance na to. Kaya natin kunin yan. Okay. So, tawagin natin yung segment AC. We have here segment AC is equals to square root of. We will be having here 10 squared. Minus 6 squared. Okay. So, that's around... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. 8. Okay. So, that's around 8 meters. Okay. So, para ka ngayon may triangle na 6, 8, and then 10. All of them are divisible by 2. Okay. So, yung horizontal dimension which is 6, i-divide ko by 2. So, that's around 3. Yung vertical, which is four, uh, 8 divided by 2. So, we have 4. So, basically, yung hypotenuse niya is also divisible by 2. So, 10 divided by 2. So, this is 5. Okay? So, horizontal 3, vertical 4, and then hypotenuse is 5. Now, if this force is exactly perpendicular to this plane, AB, magbabalik tad yung kanilang horizontal and vertical. So, yung horizontal mo dito isa yung magiging 4 yung vertical mo dito magiging 3 and then of course you have their 5 okay gamit tong free body diagram ng cylinder okay using FBD of cylinder okay so pwede ako mag summation forces vertical equal to 0 Okay, so yung pataas ko, I will have it as 3 all over. So you will be having here as uh, 5 of N2. 
is also equal to uh, mg, no? O, sige, minus natin. Minus <coughs> mg equal to 0. <coughs> okay? Or I could say <coughs> that my n2 is equals to um, m2 is 5 all over 3 of mg. <coughs> okay? Now, tanggalin ko naman yung yung cylinder, no? So, I will be having this one. Okay, ayan, parang may ganyan. And again, this is my point A and this is my point B. Okay? Somewhere here, nandun yung aking N2. Okay? Action, reaction, no? Kung dito sa cylinder, pataas siya, pagdating natin dito sa pinaka bar AB, pababa na siya. Again, these distances are 4 meters and 6 meters <coughs> respectively. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Next. Dito sa point B, may humihila kang cable. Okay. Tawagin natin yung intention. Okay. And that distance is actually mula doon ng gandon. Ilan nga ito? That is the 8 meters. <coughs> okay? <coughs> so, pwede na ako ngayon itong mag-summation moment. At A equal to 0. So, counterclockwise uh, is positive. <coughs> I have here the N2. And that is multiplied it by 4. And then minus T, ang perpendicular distance niya is 8 is equal to 0. <coughs> However, my T, sabi niya, it should be the stress of the cable multiplied by the area of the cable. So, sa stress ang allowable natin is 50 megapascal. And then, multiply natin by the area of the cable, 100 mm squared. So, the resulting is in newton. I-divide ko na by 1,000 ano, para maging kilonewton. So, I will now have it this way. 50 times 100 divided by 1,000. So, you have here 5 new kilonewton. Oh, sige, gawin na natin newton para sa... 5,000 newton. Okay? So, substitute on this equation, I can now have um, N2 is equals to 8 multiplied it by 5,000 divided by it by 4. So, you have now the N2. So, that is 8 times 5,000 divided by 4 and that's around 10,000 Newton. Okay? From what we say that N2 is equals to 5 all over 3 of mg, so we will have it as 10,000 divided by 5 all over 3 mass and then we multiply it by 9.81 meter per second squared. So we will now have the mass as 10,000 times 3 divided by 5 times 9.81. So, you have there 611.62 kilograms. Okay. So, this is now the maximum. Okay. So, that is the maximum allowed weight of the cylinder so that yung ating BC won't exceed 50 mega pascal. Okay, so that's it for this problem.